this question was asked by artists in Miami, you know, saying so shout out to Yoda. How can the artist repair the artist and DJ relationship? Like, how can we get back to like the Eric B and Rakim and the DJ mm. Premier and, and, and Guru? You know what I'm saying? Like, how can how can that, that relationship can repair each other? You know what I'm saying? Because now it's kind of lost. So your perspective, how how can we like what what's that thing that we can do that artists and DJs can really get on back on the same page? I don't think we're ever going to go back to that era because I, I think it has to do a lot also with the technology of that time frame as well, where like the MC needed the DJ to right. basically produce his live show, you know, mm -hmm. live, you know, as it was happening, you needed that DJ behind the scenes. And so it just became a part of, of, of all performances. And then, you know, and then the D, you know, the DJ is the one that started it all. Right, first right, and foremost. Right. But I'm saying once you got to that point where you had the Eric B and Rock Kims and the and the gang stars and all that, the DJ's position was important and equal to the MC, but they were needed because they did the live show. They usually did a lot of the production and all that. But as time went on and, you know, you have producers that are just producers and then, you know, you have the technology where you don't really necessarily need the DJ or you don't need a skilled DJ. You got someone on a laptop to just run some of your records, if that. I just don't think we're ever going to go back to that, you know? Mm, and I think yeah. the generation that grew up now grew up without seeing that dynamic of mm -hmm. the DJ and the MC being like one unit. Yeah. Right. And so they don't even understand what it means. The concept you know, like, of yeah, it, right? so, so I don't, you know, I think they know what a DJ is and they, oh yeah, but pretty much everybody's a DJ. You know, you could be a DJ on your iPhone. Exactly. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's but true. but I, yeah, I just, unfortunately, I don't think we're going to go back to that, man. It's just, it's just what man. it is, you know? Dang, I, I hope we do, man. I, I really hope we do, man. Um, I really hope we do because the DJs, man, um, they really still, they always been vital to the music industry, period. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I just hope we do get back to that artist, you know what I'm saying? They, they grab the DJs. Hey, man, come along. And let's do a show together and we can right. rock it out, man. I just hope that that it does. Uh, um, I you mean, know, you, you, that you still it. have it. Like, sorry to cut you off, but you still got it in some, some people that still – know that era but i just think that the the younger artists that keep coming up it's less and less that you're yeah. seeing that yeah and um what the other the thing that is happening though is producers kind of taking that role as the dj almost now like a hit boy and nod you know yeah so, yeah I so that like that's a new dynamic but what i would say to djs is that instead of sitting here crying about that era being kind of lost we need to reinvent ourselves and make sure we 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 show our value out there. And if it's if it's not on the turntables, I just think that DJs bring so much because of what we just everything that we do. We're we're natural A and R's. We're creatives. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? We're we're we put events together. We're promoters. So you know, I tell DJs like, let's not sit and cry about the past and what's not happening. Let's just keep moving forward. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. What we got? What we got, baby? Hmm. What we got? Well, well, let me ask you this. So, is it more? Do you find that now? And how long have you been in the game? How long have you been in the game? Okay, because uh, you mentioned a, a magazine back in ninety seven. I'm thinking like, how old I am? One, two, three. <laughs> so, okay, like what? Yeah, I, I launched my company with my with my crew right out of high school, and we started in ninety three. So, in two two thousand twenty three, we'll be celebrating thirty years of Crazy Hood Productions. Gotcha. What, 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 what high school you are graduated from? I graduated from Sunset. I went to Killian originally. I got kicked out of Killian. I don't know if Dang, you're familiar with Killian. Out of Killian? Why, yeah. why did you get kicked out? I was a bunch. Of, I was fighting. And a bunch <laughs> of other shit. They were gonna send me to MacArthur. Anybody that knows Miami knows what MacArthur is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they was gonna oh, send yeah, me Macar there. Oh, they oh. was gonna send me there. Yeah, oh, and then really uh, to get kicked out of Macarthur. Yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> but I got. They said go to Sunset. I had to join ROTC and Sunset. Stop. Oh my god. Oh, so you was like a But yeah, I mean I wanted to join the military anyways. Oh, wow. Like I wanted to be a my dad was a Marine, he fought in Vietnam. Okay. And I was like I was gun ho on that tip and I was like, Yeah, I just want to go to war. And then I went into ROTC and I was like marching and turning the guns around and saluting little kids. And I'm like, nah, I don't like this shit. And they kicked me out of ROTC <laughs> eventually. <laughs> man, that's man, that's crazy. Man, I went I went to South Miami, man. So you know, we, okay. we I, I high school was uh um was you know we, we played together we played against y'all quite a bit 
You know what I'm saying? The sun said hi. You know, Sunset what I mean? never did good in ball. <laughs> like yeah, yeah, that's true. How, yeah, you yeah, had a pretty decent. We had a couple good right players, now. but as a team, we never did well. <laughs> right, right. Yeah, we we was we was on that kind of like ball. We had a good some good teams one year, and you know, so we we was all right. We, we, we did we did okay. Killian you know was always saying? good, and I think uh, hmm. who else? Uh, that was another school that was always kicking ass. I can't South, remember. South Ridge. South. Ridge. Oh no, South Ridge was always kicking oh, ass. Man, yeah. South Ridge, but man, they. I think they kicked almost everybody ass in in in, in high school. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, Southridge is always on point. Them, Northwestern, Central, man, they've been kicking ass. Yeah, Northwestern. North yep. Yeah, they've been kicking yep. ass all all man. They kick. I think they kicked. Central beat us one year. They had Willis McGay. He was playing. They beat us like twenty to nine. You yeah, know what I'm oh, saying? He, yeah, yeah. Willis had like 118 something. It's it's crazy. I can remember that he had like 118 yards. I remember he ran like 92 yards on us, and and I was like. I think okay, he cried this dude, in the car. This that day. And uh yeah, I can understand. He cried, in the car. <laughs> he cried that day, DJ. Yeah, he cried. He right, cried right. So it's like, yeah, yeah, let me oh. let me um, you know, let me let me go ahead and stick to something else. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So, okay, so now now this is not on the question, but I want to ask you about about because you got an album that's out or coming out, right? It's out, it's out. Uh it's already out. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, another time. Another time so, it came so, out in yeah, so, 2015. So tell us how you put that together. Oh uh, man, I think that any DJ, specifically mixtape DJ, they their dream is to put a, an album together, like a compilation album, um, and that's what I wanted to always do. And and I got the opportunity to do it. it I needed to be in the right space, at the right time, and 2015 was that time, and it was a big undertaking. Like I got 66 artists on the album. Oh wow! And, wow. and wow. I wanted the album to properly, like I didn't want to put something out if it wasn't going to be right. And 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 it had to represent me in every single way, represent my crew, represent the city. And so, yeah, man, I, I put it together. It took me about a year to do it. Okay. Um, And we released it independently. And, and that's why I still promote it to this day, because we did everything independently. And it got, it, you know, it got a lot of uh, good reviews when it came out. And, you know, in like within like the, the, the underground hip hop, you know, blogs and stuff like that in that mm -hmm. scene. But I'm still promoting it to this day. Yeah. You say, so do you got another album in the works? Right I mean, now, or it's just, you it, know. I want to, but it's just I don't got the time for it, man. Like, to me, it, it's I got to put attention to it. Even though I'm not physically rhyming and doing much production, it's more of like me, you know, uh, curating the whole project and picking all the production. And, you know, I'll work on the production kind of on some puffy shit. But, you know, like right. I'm back there, like, you know, which is which is real <laughs> real production. is Quincy it. Jones shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right, right. You know, but, uh, <laughs> but you know. I I just put so much into it, and I and I really handpick who's on it, and and it, and it just takes a lot out of you that I have to have the time and have to be the right time. And right now I'm a I'm a father of two young kids, which that takes mm. out you know most of my time and my energy right now. Oh, okay, mm. yeah, that was, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, man, look, I got six kids, so I know. Woo. <laughs> Damn, okay. six kids. My, I got two homies with five kids each, and you beat them. You wild, man. <laughs> you a yeah, wild I, I, man. I, I, I got six kids and then, you know, I got three step kids. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. So, you talking about me? I'm, I'm two kids. You know what I mean? So, 